Now, to put a pin in this, one of the major reasons why this hasn't happened yet, because that was one of the questions. The first, one of the first group that tried to do this was the Nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam had the land and they had the people, but they didn't do it for various reasons. And everybody's gonna have their conspiracies as to why not. One of the major reasons why they didn't do it is because everything was based on Islam. You're not going to get the people, the vast majority of people to come and do it if it's based on a religion. This cannot be based on any religion. This has to be based on economic empowerment. Freedom of tyranny is what this has to be based on. The same rationale that the colonials had to get, get rid of England is the same rationale black people have to have. Set aside your religion, set aside your differences. You have your God, the other person have their God, let them be. But the trick is that black people have been so indoctrinated into religions that is not for them that you can't let go of that aspect of it. You see, I had foolishly thought 10, 15 years ago that I could get the mega churches to buy into this program, to buy into this process. And each one of them was so afraid of losing their 501c3. Each one of them was so afraid of creating uh, ripples in the water that they wouldn't do it. And each one of them also wanted their religion to dominate the entire process. Your religion will hold you back from achieving freedom. Will hold you back from achieving economic empowerment. Because you're so beholding to the life after that is not guaranteed that you can't help yourself. You can't see the bigger picture. The bigger picture is that while they're getting their heaven on earth, you're getting hell on earth. And both are present at the exact same time. Heaven and hell is now. But you can create your heaven. You can create it now. You can have a life free of police brutality. You can have a life free of unfair sentencing. You can have a life free of systematic poverty. You can have that free life as long as you're willing to sacrifice some of your crumbs that you've been given now and be willing to go for the big picture. You have to say that the level of misery that I'm living now is invalid. It's too much pain. And I don't want my children or grandchildren to continue in this pain. Are you willing? Are you really willing? That's the question. That's my question.